you know. Uh, another crazy situation just going on for that, man. Um, I know everybody talk about it on the blogs, man. Remy Martin, man. Remy Ma. Remy Ma, man. This is at, like this is something that I could have spoke on or we could have spoke on, like literally, like like literally like two months ago, probably. But uh, the whole shit with you know her supposedly or allegedly cheating on Papoose with a, a battle rapper by the name of Easy the Block Captain, and uh, I mean she was another one man got caught in 4K on the you know in the, in, in the battle man, man with Gucci Gotti. Man, he broke it down, dog. They say he was talking to her soul, bro. Oh, yeah. my God. She had to take that shit because that's her league. That's her event. She was, was talking like, about it. It was, it was hitting her soul like Campbell Soup. I ain't lying, bro. It was getting bro, to I'm her. I'm talking about man. she look like a nigga that caught that 20-piece life. You ever see a nigga get that L and you be like, damn, damn that nigga took that shit like a shot of and I, and I know a lot of, like, like, a lot of females, like, a lot of females, a lot of niggas, too. They, a lot of people have not tapped in with battle rap, so they was more in just shock. Just like, damn, how you talking to Remy like that? It's battle rap, first off. Second, yeah. if you getting told the truth, it's hard to motherfucking sit there, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know, buck up, you know what I'm saying, and, and be, you know, pressing issue like that when a nigga may, I'm just saying, if he telling the truth, you know, like, how can you fight with the truth? Yeah, man, I mean, so, I mean, I, th I, th I, think, I think from Pat Poo's point of view, man, I'll be like, damn, man, my nigga really held her down. I don't know what happened with the cheating and all that shit. I ain't getting people business. That ain't my style. Yeah. But I just look at it from his point of view. What if he did? I mean, allegedly, this been, like we say, out there, bro. Yeah. But for that to come out like that to the public with her at the event. Well, it was, that, it was out to the public, but it wasn't, you know what I'm it saying? Wasn't like, it like wasn't that. like this. You know? And, you know, you got to remember, bro, like, this is a this is a battle. You know, um, from the rumor, just I mean, just to go back for a lot of our, you know, what I'm saying, you know, followers out there, you know, that you know don't know a lot about the situation. Uh, Easy to block captain is a battle rapper, man, and Remy Martin and uh, Pat Poost, you know, allegedly own a league together called Chrome, I believe. Yeah, Chrome. Yeah, they own a league together, man, and um, uh, allegedly for some weeks, man, or months, they've been like, you know, dating, you know, and I guess Pat Poost may have like ran down on him, man, or ran into him, man. And from the from the you know report I got, man, they say he beat that boy to a motherfucking a bloody pulp out there, bro. Like, yeah, they got hands and feet on him. Hands, feet, paws, bro, man, knuckles. I ain't jumped little brother like that, yeah, man. Bro, That's like, crazy. And to be honest with you, nigga, kind of look like that nigga, man. I said, bro, them niggas look like brother, or the nigga look like one A and one B, bro. <laughs> what with braces. Yeah, bro, like the nigga kind of look like the nigga. The beard is kind of similar, bro. Pap is, you know, a lot bigger than, you know, as I see now, than that nigga yeah, is. Yeah, that nigga little, man. But that's crazy. She got a tight. Yeah, she got a tight, man. Got a tight, man. She got a tight, man. She like them old Eddie Murphy and Lethal Weapon looking at us. But <laughs> do you feel like, do you feel like, you know what I'm saying, like, she handled it correctly? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she hasn't spoke on it yet. Um, she didn't, like, you know, she kind of like she stood there stone faced when the nigga uh, Gucci Gotti was giving her, you know, the bars right there about the whole situation. Like, how do you feel like she handled it? I mean, she handled it like a G. I mean, it was her event. So to not mess up your event, get this money, you got to views are definitely going up. Everything yeah. is in her favor. So really, she won. She just looked stupid in the process. You know, she bought her back. So she like, I ain't going to mess this money up and, you know, pop off one of these niggas because she, she will pop off. Yeah. But what made the shit worse was when they caught her in Red Lobster with the cheddar biscuits, nigga. Yeah, Table man. Table full. That's the that's the biggest thing, man. It's like, yo, when uh when when you start looking at the situation, man, and then it's like, now y'all out, you know what I'm saying, just on the town, man. You say it's cheddar biscuits, man, whatever they had, red lobster. Bro, eating, it was at the lobster. Eating, eating unlimited shrimp. You unlimited know? shrimp. I right. seen the skewer. I said, damn. I was, I was like, it looked kind of crazy. Now, and I feel like, you know, us as black men, bro, it don't really look good for Pat, man, because I feel like Pat held her down. Now, we on the outside looking in, you know, looking in. But for a nigga to give six years of his life, bro, for a chick, bro, man, and hold her down, you know, make sure her kid's straight and all that, man. to come home, bro, they had this, you know what I'm saying? Be successful black couple on TV. Yeah. The first, the first one of the fewest uh, couples on Love and Hip Hop that didn't go up there and value go down, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, they actually value went up because they seen how they was standing on business. You know what I'm saying? They was business partners, all that. I mean, I ain't gonna stop listening to Remy Man or nothing like that. Like it don't, you know what I'm saying, hit me like that or nothing like I don't 
look at it like that. It do kind of like, you know, make her look at her like, damn, that's some shiesty ass shit. But, though, but, man. but, but you got to think how many females out there to be like, there's some females out there like, Niggas do it all the fucking time, man. They do, but... Because really, we, we really make it a big deal over some shit like this shit don't happen every day. We, I mean, it do happen every day, but the differences between this shit is that it's not so many times that you got a nigga that's in public like holding you down like this. Most niggas keep their motherfucking, you know, feelings and they love in private. They don't sit there and tell the world or even definitely hold you down while you in prison. It's usually the other way around. You know what I'm saying? So niggas is dirty, man. I seen them out there telling my niggas. <laughs> I see some on Instagram. It's like, yeah, man. Remy, Remy seen Papoose take his head off in the house one day, and that's when she was like, you know what? I got to get the fuck up out of this nigga. Don't took his. Do this he shit. don't took his janky fitted off. She seen his real hairline. It was man, like, oh, hell no. Nah. Ain't never really seen Papoose without his hat, man. Just I've about never that, seen man. that nigga without his hat. I, I'm not lying to you. So that nigga in the shower with that fucking hat on. Real bro. talk, hey man, if you when y'all see this man, if y'all got pictures of that nigga with no hat on, man, put them motherfuckers in the comments. We're gonna <coughs> drop this shit for real, cause I've never seen, I haven't seen LL without a hat. Yeah, I mean I've seen him without a hat one one or two times, maybe maybe on that show in the house or something like that. I might have seen him without a hat. That's the only time that was contractual. Yeah. <laughs> nigga. Nigga but no, that. I never seen Pat without his New York fitted. Real he talk. said, man, they go to church, man, they be like, remove your hat. And they be like, man, God said, come as you are. Take me as I am. You're going to have to accept me with this fitting on. Nigga. Like, <laughs> he's fitting in these Tim's on. I'm stumping the, the name of the Lord. Real, nigga. bro. Like, I mean, I don't know, man. You know, <clears throat> people feel like that future song, bro, man. Like, like niggas fall out of love, bro. You know, they do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't think of that song the same the most since I heard that old woman singing. The like, falling out of love. I was like, niggas fall out of love, bro. But Shit no, happens, that man. that's what it be though. You know what I'm saying? And you got niggas that don't. You got some niggas up there that don't some. You know, fuck. You probably think that nigga she ain't just go for that nigga. Nigga might have been trying to bag her every day and all. But yo, man, you know what it is. You know what I mean, I mean, I'm sure that's how niggas do. You know what I'm saying? Probably like, because she don't look like the type of chick that she just threw it all away for one night. I think he had to be already kind of. But that's the problem with Remy, man, because, like, that's the only thing that I think we we look at Remy on, because we hire, we hold some of these chicks like Remy that, you know what I'm saying, come from the streets, man. She always kind of, you know, stood on 10, man. Always been like a thoroughbred, man. They, they represented black love. So we hold you on a higher standard, I would say. So when we see you kind of go down that, that, you know what I'm saying, that road of, I don't even want to put a name on it, but we see you go down that road, and y'all already know what road I'm kind of talking about, man. When you start, you know, exhibiting this social media, yeah, yeah, you, you know, know me just to behavior. be honest with you, bro. I mean, it kind of like hurt niggas. I don't like, know about the yeah. cheating stuff because, like, you know, they could have been separated. But my my thing is, like you say, you it's true we hold it to a different standard, but it could just be some regular shit, like you just said, niggas just falling out of love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They don't went on reality TV. They both got successful businesses. They got a kid together. So it's just like, you know, a lot of people stay together for the kid as long as they can. Right. But at a at a time, it's kind of like, you know, she probably been off the nigga. You know what I mean? Yeah. Or he could have been off her. Or he could have been off her. Yeah, man. I just don't, you know. Until I hear Pap speak. You know what I'm saying? But I will say this for him, <laughs> he put hands on that boy. So yeah, they said he put hands <laughs> on that boy. So man. that that tells me right there, like he still want his he, he want his chick. They said like you said in that one episode, <laughs> man. They said he wrapped his hands around that nigga neck and uh, neck and left fingerprints on that. <laughs> said that nigga left DNA on him. DNA all Close, around that nigga man. shit. All man. fingerprints Pulse. on neck. But yeah, man. Uh, you know, shout out to Pat, man. You know, definitely, man. You know. Hope that comes together, man. If not, man, you know, you you know, I, you got a lot of, you know what I'm saying, upside for you, I would yeah. say. And Remy, man. You know, just he's keep... the, um, not to go up, no, not to cut you off, but he's the um, the head of um, uh, Tune Corps right now. So, yeah, you know, you got right. Distro Kids, you got Tune Corps. He's like one of the heads up there. That's big, you know. Yeah, Remy, man. Remy, man, shout out Remy, man. Whatever's happening, you know what I'm saying, just, just. Just do it a little better, baby. You know what I'm saying? Keep the public out your business. Women supposed to be more discreet stop, with stop shit. Stop eating the cheddar biscuits. Mm. Shit. Women supposed to be more discreet with their shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I look kind of yeah, crazy. They a lot better, man, at that shit. They, ain't. Yeah, they handle it a lot better, man. And then, like, not to, not to keep going on this situation, man, but, like, when they got caught in 4K and nigga look like he's about to embrace and kiss <laughs> yeah, or hug, whatever. And it looked like they seated her by the bar. It looked like they, they ain't really seated her in the red. They set her right up there by the bar. I'm like, Oh uh, nah, y'all know some hell real shit, man. I gotta, I gotta be able to see the room. You know what I'm saying? Niggas coming right in with they can. Oh, that's Remy now. Yeah, man. 
Yeah. And it was the nigga with the little small mustache she with, like. Definitely smoky hours, man. Definitely smoky hours out there, man. But uh, again, man, shout out to Pat, man, you know. Shake that back, man, you know, something's definitely coming your way, brother. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, uh, Tea. Fuck is they talking about? I took another ride. I got the bulls in the middle of my brothers. I got the whole city back. I 